Joining us now at the G20 Environment and Climate Change Ministerial Summit in Chennai, Mr. Murali Tumarakudi, who is the Director of Global Land Initiative under the UN Convention to Combat Desertification. Thank you very much for your time. You work largely on land degradation and restoration. Uh, India, in that sense, has taken a proactive role in degradation and okay. land restoration. Uh, tell us about that. This, this is very interesting because when India got the G20 presidency, uh, every country will pick up one or two topics and India decided to choose land uh, degradation and land restoration as one of the topics. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi himself uh, attended the event right. and committed to 26 million hectares of land to be restored and establishment of a center of excellence on sustainable land management. In continuation of that agenda, Government of India proposed that land restoration in two priority areas. One is areas affected by mining and one areas affected by forest fires as the two key priorities which the Ministry of Environment will uh, work on. And this is very interesting because um, India has a lot of experience in this topic, a lot of institutions working on this topic. And over the last many months, India worked with other G20 countries to come out with compilation of global best practices. So these are all you know, tremendous positive um, news for the world. Does this initiative by India uh, impact or reduce mining activity in various parts of the country which could lead, uh, which leads to uh, environmental damages? Yeah, you know it is really not about reducing mining, it's about more responsible mining. Mining would cause an environmental footprint. Now how do we reduce that footprint? Across the world mining is causing an environmental impact and sharing those best practice experience as to how this area can be restored will help in reducing the environmental impact across the world so the impact will be felt not just in India but across the world.